This is Tanara Kuranov, your friendly neighborhood gamer mouse, and more Solo Joe, part four. By the way, if you've got an iDevice, like an iOS device, I would actually recommend Shuffle Puck Cantina for those times when you uh, have to wait around for, say, video processing or something. Yeah, it's a little bit grindy. But it's kind of fun because, like, all the characters and everything, everything's got a backstory, everything's got all that. And it kind of actually feels like a modern-day Shuffle Puck Cafe game. So I'm going to look around this place and I'm going to see if there are any NPCs that may want to trade something or... Other such things. So that's what I'm gonna do when, uh, you know, when we've got a new area. 62 River Valley. The Fungal Wall. These people probably don't say a lot. New. You should give those old shoes to someone who has expert knowledge of climbing shoe rubber. That's a new hint, so that means there must be somebody. My little brother's going to be the next Solo Joe. That's my job. Yeah, the next solo chill, see? I don't know. Lumpy Miss Priss. At least she's not pissed, I guess. Is it just me, or does that kid look fat? Is that why he's called Lumpy? This game is terrible to people with their names. Jeez, at least Solo Joe's children have normal names. What's up with everybody else in this universe? It's like Tyler, Haley, and Roy, I think, are Solo Joe's children. Joseph O'Sullivan's children. Okay, there's a wall called Idiot Wind. I didn't want to look at the guidebook yet, but uh, that's funny. Let's see who there is. I want to know. Oh, goodness. This is cool. A new location, though. And hey... The walls are different colors. We actually have different backgrounds. Danger Dan. Someday I'm going to trim the bad ends off my climbing rope. It'll be great for all the shorter routes. So there's bad ends on your climbing rope and yet you're still using it? I too like to live dangerously. Although that is pretty dangerous, isn't it? Fun and games. Let's see. Most people are saying the same thing. My siblings. Lexi Leather. If you give me your old climbing shoes, I'll give you my gloves. Do you wish to trade? Yes. I will give you a clue if you give me your guidebook to this area. Do you wish to trade? Sure. Wait, you're only going to give me information about my father if I trade a guidebook with you? Jeez. There should be nine more clues. So that means we got a clue. Huh. Okay. Well. I guess that's one down, nine to go. That was like the easiest clue ever. That wasn't even on a wall or anything. I just had to trade a guidebook with somebody and they gave me a clue. Which kind of seems a little dickish, but oh well. Have you seen any silver carabiners? I may have. You're really breaking in your shoes. The rubber's looking a bit worn. Yeah, a little bit. So now I have gloves. And, uh, apparently I need another guidebook for 62 River Valley. There we go. Okay. Well, now that we got our guidebook back, let's take a look at it. Monkey Spank and Monkey Screw. That's, uh... And I forgot the dash between the grade and the route name on the, uh... Monkey Screw, by the way. Uh, Loincloth Swami. That sounds weird, also. Climb through some powerful moves and wind your way to a moderate rest. Don't get suckered into avoiding the roof. Move left, pull the roof, then back right and up to the shuts. Skilled Trasters can protect this route with only a handful of stoppers. The Tarzan. These three cruxes protect the anchors of this four-bolt route. Uh, so sport climbing is still some of that. 
This art is so technical it is difficult to define its crux. Oh, that's... that's reassuring. A chill start advances you to the second bolt, then the adventure begins. Be sure to take advantage of the good rest in the middle of the climb, but don't fall for the sucker holds. Hey. All kinds of stuff. Idiot Wind 5-7. This route is known for its decking potential. Joy. The fun begins after the second bolt, which will protect the lower half of the first crux, but if you blow the last half, you'll eat dirt. This little 5-7 is no joke. It has ended more than one climbing career. Well, whoever was putting the bolts in was an idiot, then. The only way down is up. Okay. Donkey Punch. Injected with a poison. Truffle Shuffle. <laughs> okay. The climbing is almost secondary, as you will need some special skills to take advantage of a unique rest. Otherwise, this 5-9 is more like 5-12. That's great. The Skanky Eye. Man, these names, these route names are so weird. Batteries included. I was talking about dinoing, so we... Is there somebody who knows how to do that around here? Flummox. Cyclamen Colors. Resplendence. Jimmy in Shaft Fall. What? Ugh, yay, yay. Laney versus the Gak Gak. What? This route takes a variety of gear from RPs to big bros. Blow the intro moves and you might eat dirt. Once you've safe for the first half, you'll need a good rest before embarking on the route's crux. Man, it's at least not dangerous. Crack is for babies. <laughs> <laughs> well then all fun and games capitulation poke your eye out yeah d watch it with that thing kid you'll poke your eye out shoot your eye out a different kind of not good <laughs> all these routes what's loincloth swami Okay. Looks like this can all be done with just nuts. Seems like. Okay. So I'll bring like one, two, like three medium nuts, three small nuts. Uh, my hand's getting numb. I've been laying on it wrong. <sighs> three small nuts. Three medium nuts. Maybe one big nut. One of the cracks looked kind of big. And a couple of smaller camming devices. Uh, that should do it. Okay. Oh, what the heck? Where's all my protection at? Oh, what the frick? No, no! Oh. Damn. Ugh, come on! This is bullshit. Uh... Okay, so apparently it didn't let me protect those cracks. No, I can't... I can't protect those particular cracks for some reason. No, I have to protect this big old crack over here. Makes a whole lot of sense. I can't protect these cracks. No. What are you, a fucking idiot? You can't protect those cracks. Ugh. God damn it.
Now we have to take a couple bigger things with us, because... Yeah, heaven knows what I can actually protect, you know. But how am I supposed to know? <sighs> Come on, what the hell? Ah, uh, what the fuck? God damn it! This is bullshit. This is total bullshit. Am I not supposed to go around? Am I supposed to go straight up this barrier? Because that's the thing. It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? So apparently I don't need these. No. Ah, fuck me. Is there, like, a particular reason I can't protect those, or what? Fuck's sake. Okay. Let's try this again. I guess it's a good thing I brought that. Or can I not go over it? So where do I go then? Okay, there we go, jeez. It's hard to tell what lines you can go over and what lines you can't go over sometimes. Okay, I guess I need a camming device for that. You know what, let's go back down to this hold and rest. Get some energy back, okay. Okay, where can I go over? Okay, apparently I can go over there. Okay, um, back to the rest hold. Again. It's really hard to tell which fucking way I'm actually supposed to go. I think my shoe rubber might be running out. That might be my problem. Clip in. Hmm. I wonder if that is my problem, but it wasn't blinking, so. Ay, ay, ay. What are you doing? What are you going to do with their, those gloves? Just make your hands hot and sweaty. <laughs> Wait a minute. That one crazy squirrel lady. At the one place. She said she had cold hands. I remember making a joke about it, to use the squirrels to warm her hands. Ooh. And nope. I thought, ooh, free quick draw, then I'm like, no. <laughs> Never mind. I'll give you a cup of tea if you give me your warm gloves. Sure. Now I have a cup of tea? What am I gonna do with that? You need guidance. You should go to the bolt ladder wall. It may be wise to visit the guru. Okay. Okay, we're going... Oh, wait. Yeah, he did say he was thirsty. I'll teach you a useful technique if you give me your cup of tea. You know the secret of chalk lock. Use this wisely. No more I can teach you today. Well, how about tomorrow? Uh, okay, so how to... C. Rescue and do... Do, 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 do. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six? What about all those? Chalk lock. To use chalk lock, the white chalk block must be full. Press and hold X, then press C. So it like locks your uh, grip meter in place or something for a while. So that's one of the special abilities. That's cool. There's also one for energy called Zen, but I don't know how you get that. But cool. You get a cool new ability, Asim. 
It says there's booty somewhere on this wall, on these walls, so, uh, I'm gonna scout for that. Also, I might see if I can go get that attribute point thing, but I don't know. Oh, there's that carabiner. That's probably the booty that's on the wall. Let's see about those attribute points, though. Which route is that that I would go on to get there? That would be this one over here. Uh, how many clip-ins? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bolts. Because I want to get those... uh Attribute points, because the more attribute points we have, the better, obviously. And we have Chalk Lock, which is cool. That'd be useful, like, right before a crux or something. Or when you're trying to get to a rest hold, but you're low on energy. If I remember that I have that ability at the time. <laughs> Let's put some protection up here, so that I can get those attribute points without making myself fall to the ground. I don't see how the game thinks this is potentially unsafe, because my anchor point's way up there. If I fall, I'm not going to hardly do anything, right? I don't know. Chalk lock. Oh, and it refills it instantly, so that's kind of nice. Attribute points! That's right. Oh, that chalk lock lasts for quite a while, doesn't it? Dang. That's pretty nice, actually. If it lasts for that... How long does it last for? Holy cow. Dang. I don't know how long that lasts for, but holy cow. That's... That's quite an ability. Now how do I get it back? <laughs> when does that refill? More attribute points. Sweet. Sweet. I'm just scouting around for a little equipment. See if there's any booty on any of these walls. Ooh, goody. Free quick draw. Let's grab that. The big question is how long does it take for these special abilities to recharge? I don't even know. <laughs> it says there's still booty on these walls somewhere, so... It's not on this wall, is it? Nope, I guess not. Uh, that's good, because I wasn't going to be able to climb that wall. 46% rubber, hmm. He says to convince Trad Chica to teach me something new, so I think I'm going to go do that. Ooh, fluoridation. It's got one on it. Yeah, let's grab that quick draw. 
sweet. Once again, just go up that spot with no holds, you know. I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, um... Okay, cool, free quick draw. Whoop. There we go. Almost a new attribute point. It says there's still stuff on these walls though, so... It's gotta be something else. Says there's something. Am I not looking hard enough? Never mind. I think we're just going to. Well, first of all, let's go here so we. Wait, I see a piece of the chalk lock down there. My gosh, that recharges slowly. For five hundred dollars, I will teach you more about trad gear. Five hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm a little short on that cash. Jeez. Five hundred bucks. All those also, oh, that's probably the booty that's up there. Just some little tiny carabiner up there. Hmm. Well, let's go to 62 River Valley and see what we can do. Or should I say what else we can do? We did Loincloth Swami. Me Tarzan. One, two, three, four bolter. Okay. What does the guidebook say about it? Three cruxes protect the anchors. Clip the first bolt, then move to the left. Alright, stay on the corner through an insignificant roof. At the third bolt, traverse right to the last bolt. Continue traversing to the anchors. Okay then. It says there's three cruxes on this wall. What do I do here? Okay. Clip in, then chalk up. Okay. <sighs> okay. Jesus. Sometimes it's hard to find which way is actually the correct way. That's two cruxes. Ugh. <sighs> That's all the cruxes. Yes! Did not sight on that one. Alright, alright. Boom! Awesome. Uh, yeah, we got a point. Yay! 44% on that rubber, though. I may have to spend my cash on a resole soon. King of the Apes, grade five seven. It's a five bolter. King of the Apes says it's super technical. Oh dear. Uh.
Oh boy, let's do this, I guess. Gosh. Okay, I guess I can't go that way. I guess I have to go back around here and maybe. I guess, huh? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please tell me that's the last crux. Yes! Another on site. Another on site. Sweet. More technical points. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Sweet stuff. Oh, yeah. Rubber's wearing out, though. Jane, grade 5, 8, minus. Doesn't look very long. What's so difficult about it? This short route seems like an afterthought, but don't take it too lately as it's chock full of engaging moves. A couple of short, powerful sequences fall into the clipping stances, so be mindful moving past each bolt. Hmm. And there's no real rest holds to speak of either. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see what else is in the guidebook. There's idiot wind over on the fungal wall. There's cyclamen colors. Yeah, let's do cyclamen covers colors on the whatever it was wall. Eh. The river wall. Let's see what it looks like. Flummox. Batteries included. The skanky eye. Seriously, that's so weird. I guess my chalk block's filled up now. <laughs> Cyclamen colors. One, two, three. More sport climb. Oh, there's a carabiner over there I could try and grab later. Four, five, another one, six, and yeah. Let me double check, make sure I've got that count correct, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's read the guidebook entry. The lower section shouldn't trouble you if this is your grade, though it is strenuous between bolts 3 and 4, crux comes late, there are no good rests, so keep your ego in check or you'll blow the on site. Okay. Let's do it, I guess. Okay. I seem to have a lot of en a lot more energy than I did when I started, huh? Ooh, got a muscle crux, power crux. All right. 
That wasn't too bad at all. Nice. I'm gonna try and get that carabiner. But I'm gonna protect myself up the cliff first, I think. A bit. Yeah, we'll protect myself here. And then we'll try going for it and see what we can do. Uh, man, I go kind of slow up this, don't I? Oh, now my shoe rubber's blinking. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. Eh. Mm. Dang it. Okay, then. 28%, huh? Well, I'm gonna go up there to get my quick drawback, but, uh... I guess it's time I replace my shoe rubber, then. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Okay. Well, time to resole those shoes, I guess. Can't wait to somehow find some more durable rubber and, uh, not have to worry about that, but I have $424, so, eh, resole, I guess. Now, let's see if that beaner is still there. See if I can't, uh... Eh, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, that beaner's still up there, goody. Let's see if we can get it this time. Protect myself up the wall. Up to this fourth anchor, I guess. Chalk up. And we will see if we can get that carabiner. Uh. Yeah, we did grab it. Awesome. Oh, and now I notice my rubber down on the bottom is all black, or before it was like, there was hardly any black, and you could see, like, a tan color from the shoe wearing out, so even your little shoe icon down there has it slowly wearing out. That's kind of a fun little touch. Man, 92%? I just resold it, didn't I? I guess it was the smearing I had to do on the wall. And let's get my quick draw back. It pulled up the carabiner as a gear option. Silly thing. So apparently I grabbed one of the carabiners. Don't know quite what that does for me, but, uh... Hey. I'm not complaining, I got something, didn't I? Okay, got my quick draw back. And I think I leveled myself up, or got myself another attribute point. Yes, I did. Goody goody. Okay. Got one of these carabiners then. Cool, cool. Don't know what exactly that does, but hey. I'm not complaining at all. Gemma in Schlafschiff. 
I don't know how you pronounce it. It's a good trad climbing route, it looks like. So route takes small to medium gear, and though you need to be mindful, it protects well. Top to bottom, route finding is pretty easy. Just navigate the cruxes, clips the shuts, and lower. Don't know what cruxes there are, but I... Um... Take the small to medium bowl to semi-large camming device. Fingers getting stiff. Not quite sure what I need, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always fun trying to pack for these, huh? Get to that rest hold. Uh. Ah, we're protected. Okay. Whew. I'm going to assume that is what we need for this. Yes, it is. Uh, what? Oh, did I not hit them fast enough? Uh, come on. Those sections are bullshitty enough as it is. You don't need to make me hate them more. Damn. Also, this is a really long balance sequence. It's like, oi, oi, oi. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Camming device planted. I think we already have the camming device from up there in, so... Ah, fuck's sake. It's going too fast. Damn. This is retarded. Technical sequences, man. Come on. Ah, frick. This game really likes to stress you out sometimes, huh? There we go. Ah. Uh, what? Did more? Oh my frick. Uh, damn, damn, damn this route. I guess we'll clip in there. It'll probably help us relieve the stress a little of doing this crux. Just a bit. We're still completely unsafe by the time we get up here, but we're not stressing to reach the hold, so there's that. Stick our camming device in there, and come up here. <laughs> Fuck! Come on. Really, really, it introduces the buttons to it, too. That's just too much. Uh, it's like a five button technical thing. Uh. Okay. 
Mm. <sighs> Come on. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, okay, well, we got it. Oh, jeez. I guess we did it eventually. How long did that take? Five tries. Oy. Ugh. That last crux, that last technical crux at the end. Oy. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, Tread Chica's technique shows the teaching is expensive. It is a sport climbing route for it spirals around to there. Wait, only four? Four clips, huh? Okay. I can put all my trad gear back. <laughs> Sport climbing routes are for when you don't want to try and figure out what ge exactly what gear you can put into that crack. I mean, you can kind of get a general idea of what you need, but it's hard to tell precisely sometimes. Oh. Ah, Mountain Dew. Okay. Ah, more technicals. Uh, fuck. Well, there goes my on-site real quick. Z and X are kind of easy to get confused to me, but, uh... Ah, fuck! I wonder if they even use C in the technical cruxes or not. Damn. Ah, fuck! Did I really hit up? That was retarded of me that time. X, up, X, Z, G's. Ay, ay, ay. Let's clip in and then rest. Man, okay. Is this a crux too? Yep, yeah, balance. It only took me like six button presses to get across. Okay. Another rest hold. This is a long route. Definitely. I hate these because failing them is... Doing one wrong button press sends you off where, uh... I really wish a wrong button press would just drain some energy or something. Like, a penalty, but not just like, nope. You got one button press on this whole thing wrong. You fall off the cliff. I don't know, the technical cruxes seem a little harsh to me, but... And then if it's an unknown thing, then you'd probably waste a lot of energy, so it would, uh... It would sufficiently penalize you for not having the right technical skill, but not be superbly harsh. I don't know, maybe it's just... Maybe that's just me. I don't know. But we did it. Took a few tries, four to be exact, but hey, whatever, we did it. Let's see what else there is that's within our... There's, there's Jane, the 5-8, Idiot Wind on Fungal Wall, the 5-7. And there's a different kind of not good on fun and games. Speaking of which, I'm curious if that... Because I said it was a Shuriver expert. There. Something about silver carabiners. Do I have to find a silver carabiner before she'll... Offer some new shoe rubber or something? And there's stuff everywhere here. <laughs> uh, where's a... Route I can actually climb here, though. My character's fight. Oh, wait. 
Five eight plus, I guess now. Crack is for babies, <laughs> because of course it is. Gosh, that feels, it feels so wrong saying crack is for babies. A different kind of not good. Five eight minus. Ooh, free piece of gear up there. That's cool. There's some gear up there. Oh, what the fuck? Um. Just looks like we need an arrow. Wow, uh. Really? That seems like a really short route. There's gonna be some catch to this. Some kind of crux or something. The seemingly easy climb can get in your face pretty quickly. So I guess we need just need these? Because that's the only cracks there seems to be on this wall, so... Yeah. Huh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Bad. That was loose rock, I guess. Ah, shit. Oh. That is quite the physical crux. What happened to the sound? Nice sound. And there's noise here. That was weird. The music just stopped on the menu. That was kind of odd. Ugh. Yeah, that was a really draining power crux there. Holy crap. And I just put points into power too, so what the heck. Okay. Well. We know to leave that for later. Die young and pretty. On the ninja bunny. Phantom hand's kind of tempting because there's a free quick draw and a carabiner to grab on it, but. Hmm. Looks kind of long. Difficult. And yes, my choosing of the word difficult was on purpose. Ninja Bunny. I think we did that one already. Die young and pretty. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five bolt route. Okay. And we've got balance. Chalk up. Oh! Geez, I was trying to switch to my next piece of gear and the freaking technical popped up. Damn! I hate those technical cruxes. Of all the things that are kind of enjoyable about this game, the technical cruxes could kiss my ass. Not to be... I mean, I know I'm being kind of crass, but let's face it, it's a let's play. You kind of already knew my language is salty in a let's play, right? Right. <sighs> Damn it! There's no way to know how many button presses you're supposed to do through a crux either, so there's also that. Ugh. Frick. Oi! 
hate those technical cruxes. Spoiled my on site. Took three tries on that one. $445. I'm close to having 500 although I'd like to have a couple hundred on hand for gear and for, you know, a shoe resole if I may ever need that. Because, yeah. It says there's still booty on this wall. I think that was on the Phantom Hand or... Ah, shit. No, I didn't want to climb it, but now I guess I've got to try, because I started and I'll spoil my on-site if I don't try. Ugh. Ugh, frick. Oh my frick! What the heck? That was a hugely long balance crux. What the fuck? Okay, so there is something at the end of it. Okay, so now I, uh... Now I gotta do it, right? <laughs> Makes me really wish I had that Zen power up, huh? I bet that wears out my shoe rubber. Okay, come on. Finish the damn crux. Oh my heck. That's a huge balance crux. That is punishing. I mean, what the heck? Ugh. Lord. You gotta be kidding me on this one. Oh my heck. It's just crazy. It's just frick. Come on, get to the rest hold. Ah, oh, frick yes. Ah, oh. okay. Uh, what the hell? No, what the bullshit? I just lost my grip all of a sudden. No. 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 <laughs> I have to go through that all over again. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> it's really hard. Sometimes it's hard to tell what this game considers a good hold or not, huh? Yeah, there's visual indicators, but they're a little vague. <sighs> Uh, damn. Damn it. What are you shitting me on this one? Fuck. 
And I just randomly fell on the one part, so you know, that's always fucking nice, right? Ah, <sighs> fuck. Load of bullshit. Get to the bucket. Get to the bucket. Yes, okay. Ugh. Let's rest there again just to be safe. Yeah. Ugh. You never know what to expect trying a new route, which is kind of interesting, but also kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> Ugh, the Phantom Hand. Let's see what this has. Three. Four. What's this over here? It looks like it leads to nothing, so... There's dead ends, but I guess that's what scouting the route is for, huh? Uh, okay. That's one, two, three, four, five, six anchors. One of them's already protected, though, so five should be enough. This may be the last thing we do on this part. I don't know. Or we might raise enough money to get uh, Trad Chica to teach us those techniques, those new ones. We might try doing that. Okay. Uh. Yay, that is a rest hold. I almost didn't need it, but... A oh, son of a dick! Trying to adjust my climbing trajectory and... Technical crocs! Fuck the technical crocs! <laughs> fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. Fuck. Stupid. Man, good fucking luck to anyone who wants to do a on-site solo run of the entire game. Good fucking luck with those technical cruxes. Then again, I suppose if you were playing through it again to do an all on-site solo route, you could just have the technical cruxes of the route memorized. Okay. Okay. Good. That's protection for an entirely different route altogether over there. Okay. Okie doke. <sighs> Almost did an on-site of that. If it wasn't for that stupid technical crocs! The technical ones suck. Suck. Well, you end up, like, clear away from the beginning of the route. Like, the beginning of the route's over there. So that's the phantom hand and pucker done. How much money do we have? 527. Do one or two more of the routes on here. And then... And then we'll get Trad Chica to teach us some new Trad gear placement stuff. And then... 
And then I think that'll be the end of part four. I think we're on part four now, yes. Destinations, Jack's Rocks, Mama. That's what I was looking for, right? Yep. Just need it like I do. Did we already do VC's last chance? Yeah, we did, and we on site did it. Did it on site. Tongue tricks, climb another day. Your mom. I wonder if the guidebook goes from left to right. If it does, that might actually be a good thing to remember. So we can actually find these walls more easily. And not look like a freaking idiot. A moral imperative. And need it like I do. Okay. Apparently there's a Paton over there, but... Okay, it's a three bolter. So I can leave most of my quick draws behind. Got a little power crux here. Those went fast. Yeah. Dude, that was on site. How much money was that? We have 600. Do one more, talk to Trad, get the skill, and then leave for part four. Tongue tricks. These routes have weird names. Really weird names. Oh. Hey boy, trad route. Yay. This is a different route, so I guess we don't have to worry about the right hand stuff. Big old cams. We need big old cams. At least for that one part. Everything else just looks like little nuts for protection. So two or three little nuts and a couple of big cans. Two or three little nuts. Yeah, that doesn't sound weird. What size do I need for that? I'm thinking of the big old ones, but... Bring one of those just in case, I guess. Yeah, boy. Oh, jeez. No. Ugh. Okay, good. Oh my gosh. I brought the wrong equipment for that first crack, so that kind of spoiled that. Come on, let me do this on site. Oh, come on. Get up to the... Get up to the... Oh, come on. You really had to put another crux there. Well, I grabbed whatever that was. Okay, now we pretty much ha Now we have to do this route, don't we? Get my gear back. Grrr. Gosh darn it. Now we're protected so we don't use a bunch of energy on this part at least. Big old camming device. Okay. Uh, well, we were really close to on sighting that. Oh well. At least it didn't die or lose any gear or some other such. 936 cash. I must have grabbed a cash bonus when I was swinging wildly on the way down, so... That's a good thing. That must have been a really nice cash bonus. Now where's Trad? Five hundred dollars! 
These people are really extorting me for new skills now, but sure, teach me. You've learned to place advanced trad gear. When climbing, gear placements will appear as blue flashes. I already know that, but thanks. So now we have gear level 3, and there's probably more. And we learned the chalk lock, which is nice. Definitely a nice thing to use. And... I think that'll about do it for this part. Part 4. We went to a new location, learned some new skills. All in all, and some new routes, and even on sighted a few new routes. All in all, pretty productive part, I think. Talk less, climb more. We will indeed climb more in part 5. See you next time.